Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is week 68 of GameStop Dumpster Dive Finds. So many finds this week, it's insane. Look at all these game cases, there's so many, there's gotta be, there's over hundreds of them here. It's absolutely insanity. All the games on the table themselves, they actually have games in them. Most of the games that are like this, that are standing up this way, they don't have games inside, but still some of them do have codes here and there for like special exclusive items in the games, which is kinda cool, I forget which ones those are to be honest, I think Assassin's Creed 3 has a couple. Which other ones? It was Assassin's Creed 3. I think some Call of Duty Ghosts had like bonus maps and stuff. But it's all stuff that usually they give it to you for free anyway after the game has been out for a while. So it's all like stuff that you don't really need to be honest. Otherwise, I would give all this stuff away to you. But all these codes basically that are in these ones... Most people usually already have them by now, so it is what it is. But this week, so many games. It's insane. Hundreds and hundreds of games. Some games on this table are amazing. Two new Edge console games, PS4, Xbox One, NBA 2K16, NBA 2K14, both basketball games, but still, they're both inside, if you can kind of see that and whatnot. And we have the Apple iPhone. Just kidding. It's not a real Apple iPhone, even though it was in an Apple iPhone box. It's a knockoff. Off, uh, it's, it's not Apple. You see, it has no Apple logo. It is a fake phone. It has like a laser on it and everything. It is the craziest. Look at this. It has a laser. That is absolutely crazy. What everybody was telling me in the comment section was that it's a, a prank phone because it shocks you. I'm not pressing it again. I pressed it and it freaking shocked me and it hurt. It really hurt. You press this button right here like you turn on the phone, it shocks you. So apparently everyone was telling me this is like a gag phone. It shocks you. Uh, it's not real, obviously. It's fake. So it's like a prankster phone. Like you give it to someone like, hey, I got you a new iPhone. And it's like, no, it's fake. What I'm going to assume is that somebody traded this in, hopefully thinking GameStop would think it was real and they would get a lot of money for it and obviously they knew it was fake so they threw it out and it's not even the same color as the box <laughs> it doesn't make any sense it makes no sense but it is what it is so we have the apple iphone that is fake obviously i did end up ripping the box right there by accident you can see i just i kind of ripped it it just it ripped off it was already broken to fit that phone in here it was like bent over and it was just really crazy looking uh either way let's get into this week by the way in this episode, this is the episode I'm going to be giving away tons and tons of codes. Look at all these codes. Our shadow, shiny cell valley codes. So let's get into this first code of this video is going to be that one. These are all these shiny cell valley codes, the white ones, and the darker ones are the more shadows. So stay tuned. I'll be giving these out throughout the whole video. So make sure you guys watch all the weekly recaps as well as regular dumpster dives because I'll be giving tons of these codes away. So let's get into this. First things first, we have up here is a Minecraft. There goes a lanyard, which lanyards are awesome. We have the Minecraft Adventure Figure Series 1 box. It's just a box. It's kind of cool looking. I thought it was kind of neat. So I took it. It's just generic kind of Minecraft box. It would sell all little figures in like mystery boxes and stuff. But it's pretty cool. I like it. So definitely going to be keeping that. We have, I'm just going to say all these cases. I'm just going to go through. I'm not going to say each one of them. I'm just going to show you guys all the different kinds of cases. Battlefield 3, NHL 14. There's just so many. Halo 4, Call of Duties. Uh, this one right here, Borderlands 2. That's not the one that actually has a game in it. The one that has a game in it is right there. Found a case with no game, found a case with the game, which is awesome. So we have all of these right here as well, and they just keep going down. None of these have games, it's just a bunch of empty cases. These ones do have games though, so I'll go through those as well as these. These have games too. So really interesting, really cool. Uh, up here we have... <clears throat> A bunch of Nintendo DS cases. They have no games on them either. They're just a bunch of random cases. I keep them just because uh, people always told me, like, all oh, you guys used to tell me, like, hey, dude, you should keep these. I used to never keep DS cases, if you guys were wondering. I used to always just be like, oh, there's no game. Throw it out. I don't want it. But since a lot of you were telling me, like, hey, you should keep them. They're collectible items and stuff. Some people want these. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just start collecting them. I just kind of keep them in a box, and that's where they're sitting for now. <laughs> but uh, either way, just a ton of different ones right here. As you can tell, whoa, that just fell. Either way, it opened up a uh, a new area to show you guys this. We have a PS4 Battlefront 2 uh, sticker. It's like they put it in the window. It's supposed to be a circular cylind uh, cylindrical kind of circle uh, thing. It's a sticker. It's two pieces, but obviously these sticky sides are stuck together. I could undo it, but I'd want to find somewhere to put this first, like a piece of glass or something like on a window would be really, really cool. Let's go find that game that actually fell on the floor. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> The game that fell on the floor was Rocket League. Sadly, it's not in there, as you can tell, but still a great Xbox One case. There's just so much stuff on this table. Like, strategy guides this month, like, oh, this not this month, this week. Just insane amount of stuff. Like, if I was to do monthly recaps of how much stuff I find in at least one month, there'd be 12 videos a year, obviously, because there's 12 months in a year. But each month would be, like... 
everything, it would be, I don't even know, it would be insanity, like, you wouldn't even be able to see the table, like, there would be so much stuff, like, I'm, I'm just, like, thinking about it in my head, like, that would be an insane amount of items, it really would be, but, uh, either way, I don't know, it's just, that's crazy, also, one thing I did want to mention before I go through anything else, I'm thinking about making some merchandise, I'm thinking about making some shirts, maybe some hoodies, some really cool items, let me know what you guys think, would you guys buy merchandise, like, Speedy Diver merch, Speedy Cat merch, all that kinds of cool stuff, let me know in the comment section down below, please let me know, because I will definitely be making some, and I hope you guys are definitely going to support the channel by buying some, and just, you don't even have to buy some, but just buy, you guys, just supporting me enough by watching my videos is enough, I'm not asking you to buy any, you don't have to, but when I do end up making it, it would be awesome if you guys could support the channel even more, it would just make my day, and it would be absolutely astonishing, showing people the world of the Speedy Diver and Speedy Cat, and here's another code, we have another code right there, there's another uh, Shiny Silver Valley, uh, another one here as well, so give me two off right off the bat. We still have, I think, about seven more because I have three. They gave three codes away and I have 10 all together. Next, we have over here, we have a couple lanyards. We have the Nintendo Switch lanyard, which actually on the end of it, I put the Forza. I think this is for Forza Motorsport six or seven i'm not too sure which one it is but obviously it's for forza and i put it on the end of the nintendo switch lanyard which i thought was kind of cool it's got that cool little clip and whatnot so i found two of those also this one i put another one of those forza i put two of them actually because i found three of them so two lanyards three keychains really cool i'll throw these to the side over here next we have a couple other things the Forza. okay so it's for forza seven because i found the bracelet at the same time i found the uh, keychains forza seven motorsport bracelet really freaking cool i do like that next we have a GameStop pen, which it does not work. Also, I ended up putting that little piece of Velcro that's like cable management on the end of it. It's just to keep like cables all together and whatnot. Sorry, I was shaking there for a second. Oh, that was weird. Uh, also, a battery pack, which it does not work because the back over here is busted in. If you guys that can focus, it's just totally like smushed in. It's really hard to see to actually like it's. There's like a pin in there that has to be unbent. It's like all bent and stuff. I could probably fix it, just haven't had time to actually fix that yet. A Wii U charging dock right there as well. Another code with is actually a Marshado code. So there you guys go, another code. We have over here, there's just so much, I don't know what to do next. Like when there's this much stuff on the table, I never know like which item should I go to next because there's just so much to talk about. And I try to talk really fast during weekly recaps if there's a lot of stuff, as you can tell, I'm talking extremely fast. So I might get out of breath, I might gasp prefer air, I guess, because there's just so much on the table. But you know what? Whew. Okay, calming down. I'm just getting way too excited. This is awesome. <laughs> this is just so, such cool stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, I'm good to go. The next thing we have is a Nintendo DS game case, which is really cool. You can put up to eight games in here, which is really nice. It's not broken. It clips together. It's, I don't know why they threw this out. Really interesting piece. I do like that. Uh, I talked about the battery pack already. Over here, I guess, I'm going to give away another code. R might as well. Here we go. Another code for all you people who love your Pokemon out there. I still got a bunch more, so stay tuned in the video. This right here is the, uh, actually, this goes to these books right here, which is the Fallout 4 Vault Dwellers Survival Guide. And what this basically is, is it's a survival guide. It's a collectible, I think it's a collector's edition guide thingamajiggy, where if you... Oh, what is this? Whoa! I didn't even know this. Oh, is this a map? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! There's a map in here? I didn't even know. I looked through this too. I didn't even see this. There's a Fallout 4 map. There's no flipping way I didn't see this. There's a freaking Fallout 4 map. I didn't even see this. I don't think this is the whole map of the game? I don't know, where is this? The world map legend? Is this the whole map? No, I can't, no, there's no way that's a whole, that must be a main city. I kind of forget, I haven't played uh, Fallout 4 in such a long time. I didn't know it had a map in it. That is so cool. So I found two of these books, that means there should be a map in this one too in the back. That is freaking awesome. So I found two of these collector's editions, uh, what are these called? These are like, uh, uh, collectible guides, uh, Vault Dweller Survival Guides, I always forget what those are called, Strategy Guides, that's what they're called, Strategy Guides, and they had these in them, so it's like agility, you have all the special abilities in the game, you have intelligence, uh, charisma, there's endurance, uh, perception, strength, and I believe luck, and that is basically it, and they all come in this really cool Vault Tech uh, little like folder thingamajiggy, which is really cool, so all of those, found two of those books like I said, so there's obviously two sets of these as well, and those were brand new in the cellophane, but I ended up having to take them out of the cellophane, because water ended up getting behind the cellophane, so it, uh, 
it, it, it was too much moisture in there and it would just wreck the book. So I had to clean those up and it came out pretty good. So they look almost brand new basically. They are brand new, but uh, either way. Uh, next I'll talk about the games that we have. So over here and also this stuff over here as well, we have a The Walking Dead little poster thing of Bajiggy. This thing right here would be where if you go in the store and you want to buy a shirt and they have these like on the walls or whatever and you're like, oh, that's the print on the shirt. That's cool. I'll buy this shirt. So that's what that is. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, over here we have, there's two of these. There's one here and one back over there. It's the, uh, obviously it's PUBG, it's Player Unknowns Battlegrounds, which is really cool. Coming to Xbox One, it's gonna be an Xbox One exclusive, so that means it's not coming out on PS4. It might eventually come out on PS4, but for now, it's only gonna be on Xbox One and PC, which is really cool. So, really excited for that. Xbox One hasn't had enough Xbox One exclusive games. PS4, you guys have had tons of exclusive games. Good for you guys. PS4, you, PS4 is doing really good right now. Their exclusive games are just so much better than Xbox Ones, even though the Xbox One X is the most powerful console ever made besides PC. PC is always going to be the best. It's always the most powerful. You can play any game you want on the PC. It's going to be cheaper. It's just all around PC is better. And I'm not afraid to say that. There's some people who are literally like, oh, I'm a PS4 fan. I hate Xbox. I hate PC or the other way around. Don't be like that. We're all gamers. We're all just really cool people. Just, just, take it easy like it's we, we all love gaming we all love the same thing you don't have to be a fan of one or the other i like xbox one more only because i like the controller like the controller like this it fits in my hand better it's just the way my hands are so it's it's all your own preference and it is what it is so i hope you guys can enjoy well not enjoy but appreciate my opinion for how i like xbox one better that's the only reason really why and i mean and xbox one x has 4k gaming which is real 4k gaming ps4 ended up having like upscaling but the original xbox one stunk and it's just there's so many different like things you can argue about which i don't care it doesn't matter but two of these games as well the xbox one version does work of nba 2k16 it's in there it works don't own a ps4 it's obviously in there i don't know if it works though so i would like to know madden 13 it works i tried it out on the ps3 it is in there all the ps3 games worked there was tiger woods pga 14 as well which is right there Madden 15, it's in there, it works. All the Wii, I think all the games work this week, if I'm not mistaken. There's one game that was missing in here though, it's supposed to be two discs and there's only one. But uh, Thrillville, off the rails, in there and it works. We have Infamous, which is not in there, it's supposed to be a game, it's supposed to be in this little cardboard thing, but it's sadly not in there. We have the NBA 2K12, I'm gonna open all these up just to show you that they are in there, if you guys don't believe me. Uh, Karaoke Revolution, in there, it works. Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zero, in there, works. Which is really cool, I've never played that game before. Wii Fit Plus, in there, it works. We have Borderlands 2, baby. Yes, it's in there and it works. Amazing, amazing game, Borderlands 2. Sing It in there as well. Six Flags in there, the fun park. We have Disneyland in there and it works as well for the Xbox 360 Connect. Assassin's Creed 3. Now, this is the game that's supposed to have two discs. It only has the one disc, as you can see, for single player. Last week, I found disc 2 for the multiplayer, which was, or was it, uh... Or was it? Yeah, no, it was multiplayer. I believe it's multiplayer. Disc one is single player, and second disc is multiplayer. So that's freaking awesome. I just completed this game, and I found a lot of these cases as well. So Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 3, they're all like over the place. There's no games in those though, but still really cool. Also this box right here, this is the PlayStation VR box. Really cool box. It folds in like a uh, triangular kind of like, it's cut in half and it folds over really cool, like a clamshell kind of box. Really cool box. That's why I kept it. Really nice material. It's just, uh, it's cardboard obviously, but the way it's made is really, really cool. That's why I kept it. Uh, over here as well, we have another Marsh Shadow code. Oh my gosh. Uh, we also have Colorful Journey is in there as well for the Wii. Dance Central. This was the only game that I found with all of these. I found all of these cases for the most part all at the same time with one game. I checked all these cases out by the way. There's no games inside. The only game that was actually in a case was Dance Central and it works. This is the one that had this weird thing on it that says GameStop Prestige. Like GameStop wanted me to know the game was in here so they put this on here and like none of the other ones had games in it. It was just really random. Also another more shadow code. There you go. And as well as a couple Wii skins. We have three clear ones, one black one. Wii Play is in here as well and it does play so pretty we plays in there and it plays that's awesome it's in there we have this right here which is to uh it was like to wireless cricket or something it's like a phone company it's cool though it's a piece of like plexiglass with like a hook you can like hook it on something like on the wall i don't know it's just cool looking uh con not confetti this is streamers that you would throw around for like a party or something brand new cool really cool some stickers here for gamestop power up rewards it's like a whole roll of, like a big roll of them they're all round stickers pretty cool i like them don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Also, here we go. The multiplayer for Halo 3. 
uh, is actually in here and it does work as well. I tried this game out. Sadly, it does not have the other game as well. Uh, the actual the other disc. This is disc two or something. I'm not sure. I can't take it out. It's kind of hard to take out, but it does work. By the way, I kept it in there so it wouldn't get all scratched up. We have one of these. All these wrist straps, they're all cut. Every single one. All of, They're all cut. I don't know why they cut them. I guess to take them off the controllers really easily, but they're all cut, so I mean, I might be able to use them to tie something together as rope, but you can't use them as actual wrist straps for the most part. Uh, we have this right here, which is a portal for Skylanders. It works as well. Cool thing about this twist tie, this twist tie has a button that you press and you can untwist tie it. Like, you can reuse this twist tie over and over again. So I took off the twist tie and I reused it to put it back together. Freaking cool. So obviously I had to test it out, so I had to, had to untwist tie it, and then when I'm done testing it out, I retwist tied it. Pretty cool, I like that. Uh, another piece of like weird plexiglass, don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but still pretty cool. NHL 15 is in here and it works. It does have a rip on the front of the uh, case though, which is kind of sad, but still pretty cool. NHL 14 in there as well and works, so 14 and 15. Crackdown is not in there, obviously. Crackdown 3 doesn't even exist yet, it's not out. Uh, a bunch of empty cases over here as well. Uh, Platinum's case for Xbox 360, a Wii case, and a three Xbox 360 cases. Three games over here as well, like tons of games this week. Uh, Wii Music is in there and it works. This game I never even knew existed, so really cool to find that add to the collection. Just Dance 2 is in there, works. And this game, I've never, ever found. This is Just Dance, the original. I've never owned it, never played it. I'm gonna play it. It's the original Just Dance We I did, I did try it out, I just haven't played it yet. Like, I put it, when I say I try eight games out, I put them in and I see if they boot up. And if they boot up, that means they work. Uh, because that's mainly how games work. If they don't boot up, they're not gonna work. If they do boot up, for the most part, they usually work. So, uh, I didn't try it out yet. I would definitely want to play that with a bunch of friends. That'll be awesome. Just Dance is such a good game. And there's also... <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, I'm, I'm getting out of so much breath. Like, I'm losing my breath. There's just so much to talk about. Next thing to actually talk about is all these cables we have down below. We have a Wii U cable, power brick thing of a jiggy. Not sure if it works, don't own a Wii U. This right here, I had no idea what this was for, but you guys in the comment section did let me know. It's for Nintendo, I, that's the only thing I really knew, and I think it's called a Type-C, like USB right there as well. This is for the new Nintendo Switch. So that's pretty cool. I haven't found anything Nintendo Switch related besides cases that were empty. So that's really cool. I did hear, uh, in the comment section you guys were saying there was a lot of recalls on these that they wouldn't work when they sold them which was a little weird but uh either way apparently a lot of those don't work i can't test it out because i don't own a switch so i'm not sure yet uh also a usb to micro usb and it does work which is awesome i can always use an extra one of these and right here this is really really cool i'm not too sure you guys may have told me in the comments but i didn't see anybody actually tell me what it was uh it's usb right there a great usb with a black cord to a micro usb this plugs perfectly into my Xbox One controller. Like, I'm not joking. It plugs, like, it's got a really weird angle on it that, like, plug. It looks like it's broken, but it's not. It plugs perfectly into my Xbox One controller, and it works, which is really cool. So this is, I'm definitely going to be using this. That is a really cool find. Haven't, I've never found one of those before, but a curved US, uh, micro USB, like, slant on it. Just really freaking cool. And that is, I believe, for the most part, it. And I'm going to give some more of these codes away. There's another one right there, another shiny Silvalli, and I still have one more, so stay till the end for me to actually show you guys what it is. Oh, am I going to show you? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, not yet. So, uh, either way, hope you guys really, really enjoyed the video. Like I said, there's another one of those back there as well. Thank you for all for watching. Don't forget to watch, blah, blah, blah. don't forget to watch the last video over there, most recommended video over there. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and subscribe to the Speedy Diver. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry if I was really like, uh, like, uh, uh, like breathing like that this video. There was just so much to talk about and I get out of breath really fast, I guess, because I'm extremely hot right now as well because I'm just like, I'm freaking out over all this stuff. There's just so much stuff on this table. It's ridiculous. But either way, thank you all for watching. Here is the last code for everybody to redeem. I love you guys so much. You are the best speedsters out there. Also, let me know about the merch in the comment section down below if you guys would be interested in getting some merch. Maybe even some hats as well. I have no idea. But for now, t-shirts and hoodies, that's probably gonna be what I'm gonna do for the starting of the merch but the speedy shop but either way thank you all for watching and i'll catch you guys on the flip side